がレクイエム Now, I wanted to say before I actually start playing this game, there are people I know specifically that are watching One Piece right now. And if you guys don't want to get spoiled, I suggest you don't finish this video because I'm going to be playing Brandon Blood today. And it's got characters with abilities that you guys haven't seen yet. And that goes for anybody else, even if I don't even know you. If you guys don't want to get spoiled on One Piece powers or whatever, or some aspects of One Piece, I'm going to be talking about Burning Blood today, to be honest. And uh, if you don't want to know, you shouldn't be able to check it out. You know what I'm saying? Don't 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 watch the video. Uh, so watch your own risk. If you want to get spoiled, get spoiled. That's on you. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Show with another video, and today we're looking at One Piece Burning Blood. Now, this game in itself is not a bad game at all. I think it definitely is underrated. I feel like One Piece as an anime is probably like one of the, the most popular animes right now. Uh, simply because it's been going on for so long. Um, and not even just that. Even though it's been going on for so long, it's honestly a great anime. The animation for me are, is a little bit iffy at times, but... It's still a great anime, you know? So, either way, it's it's an enjoyable experience. Now, the problem I have with One Piece is that with the anime specifically, you see it tends to drag on to certain parts. Now, when I watched it originally, I watched it with the filler intact, you know? For me, back then, I know filler list wasn't even a thing. I just watched whatever was, was out, you know? So, I know filler list would have been great to actually go and watch One Piece too. Maybe I'll rewatch it with no filler list, but... Like I said, the anime in itself has pacing issues, especially with fillers and stuff just being so boring. Honestly, I think I like the Naruto fillers better than the, than the One Piece fillers. And that's saying something. Now, in case you missed my little warning in the beginning and you decide to stick around for the video, um, I'm going to be talking about One Piece in general. I'm going to be talking about different arts in One Piece. And just, this is a short video talking about how I actually do like this game. Now, for instance, right, then the characters in One Piece are some, like, some of the best characters in the world. They have some, some of the most unique personalities and some of the most unique powers. And I think that's just a cool aspect of the game. Now, this game in general in itself is a great game. I think people really overlooked it when they when it came out. Uh, me, me personally, my favorite in games is probably the Power Warriors game. And a lot of people don't like anime fighters in general because there have been a lot of bad anime fighters lately. This one in itself isn't the best one, especially when you have a game like Storm. If you have a game like Storm, and then you know you can't, you can't really go back to to playing other games if you play games like Storm, which with a fast pace, um, not a really floaty combat. You know everything feels kind of grounded. It's like you really can't go back to just playing games that uh a very like non loose, very you know just you, you know what kind of games I'm talking about specifically like My Hero. My Hero is not a bad game at all. My Hero is actually a decent game in terms of like the characters and stuff. But I hate games where they just feel like the fighting system is like the last thing you thought about. And you thought about the characters, you might have thought about the aesthetic of the menus, but you didn't think about the game, and the gameplay sucks. This particular game in general does not suck for me. It's it's kind of fast paced. The movement is a little goofy, but you know, that's, it's like some One Piece type stuff. The abilities, the fighting, and everything else is actually great. I just don't know why this game did not pick up while we didn't get a Burning Blood 2. And. There may be a reason for that. Now, but the thing about One Piece games in general is that with Naruto, you can actually make a game that covers a good deal of Naruto's story. You know, uh, we've had the Storm game. Storm 1 was basically a uh, game set in the Storm 1 in, in the Naruto, the first Naruto universe, but it didn't really deal with the, the story of the first Naruto, which is something I always felt like they were missing. But if you played Xbox, you got to play Broken Bond, which was basically the same thing, but you had the actual story experience that you didn't get with Storm. Now, Storm in itself is a great game, but if we move on to Storm 2, Storm 2 starts the actual Shippuden storyline, and you get to play through the Shippuden storyline, which is cool, which is really cool. Now, as for the thing I don't really get is that with One Piece, when they come out with games, they have to actually include a lot. Like the One Piece Power Warriors games have a good understanding of where people want to go. They were pretty long games because One Piece is a long story, so they were pretty long games about, you know, kind of summarizing the whole entire One Piece story. But if you play that, you pretty much spoil yourself to everything that happens in the story because they do cover a lot of major plot points. Just a lot of the little things are, you know, cut out. Which is cool, you know, it's, it gives you some sense to go watch the anime. But with Naruto, you get a lot more detail oriented because you're looking at it from like pretty much all the major events in Storm are basically major events in Naruto. And then, you know, some of the extra events and stuff that you walk around and do 
and the game provides its own type of extra content and giving you unique dialogue and stuff that you haven't seen and it's not a con against this game because if i'm being honest it, this game is good it's a fighting game it's just a fighting game now they were fighting games supposed to be spectacular this one is good it just didn't catch on because people didn't really play it and i feel like at the time one piece wasn't as popular as it is now it's crazy to say considering that if you're watching this you might have been watching one piece for years and years but it's actually crazy because considering that people don't really people didn't really know about it when this game came out like one piece was cool but oh my gosh like one piece was definitely cool but it just wasn't as popular as it is now. It's definitely one of the most popular anime, if not the best. Uh, considering that, like, Naruto is done now and everything else is done now, it's just probably one of the most popular anime of all time. With that being said, though, guys, let me ask you, uh, let me ask you a quick question. Uh, would you like another Burning Blood? If you have played this game, would you like another Burning Blood? I definitely would. A Burning Blood with, like, next-gen hardware would be crazy. I want every... Pretty much every game to be up, updated in next gen hardware. This is kind of the route I think they're going with Storm. I think they're making a PS5 Storm or whatever, and that's going to be amazing because Storm with a 60 frames a second patch and faster loading and stuff would be amazing game to play. Like a PS5 version of Storm would be great, but it's at this point it's kind of too old to really do. So they're probably focusing on Storm 5 just to make it an experience with the PS5. You know, it all goes out well together. But with that being said, you know I would definitely love another Brandon Blood. I think the game has potential. I think the game is very fun. And honestly, if it ever goes on sale, I'm going to get my friends to get it, you know, so, you know, they can fight in matches too because these guys are big One Piece fans. They're currently, pretty much everyone I know is currently watching One Piece or catching up on One Piece, and they're all at different levels. And, you know, a game like this could be fun for them, especially with uh, them liking Storm being invested in Naruto and such. You know, them being invested in a One Piece fighting game is pretty good. This, Like I said, this is a pretty good one, you know, pretty fluid, unlike all the other anime fighting games. So I think you'll enjoy this. Uh, with that being said, guys, I think I'm going to start playing this again. Uh, honestly, I'm playing, just playing the computer as I'm recording this video and it's cool but I just want to do matches I just want to do like a series when I do how I play against people so if you guys are interested in doing something like that let me know in the comments below I know somebody reached out before and said they would actually play play me or whatever in this and I never had the interest to play it but getting back on this game I definitely have the interest to play it now I'm ready to go back and, and kind of see where I'm at in terms of skill level and uh, thanks for watching everybody please like subscribe I'll see you guys next video Okay, you're